Oops. Hi everybody, this is a confirmed tornado. Uh, there was a debris signature earlier with this storm. This is in the Jacksonville area. Looks like there is a debris ball there right now. Let's confirm this by radar. Uh, this is where the ro rotation is located, halfway between Miramar Terrace and Pineland Gardens, uh, moving off to the north. And this is in the Jacksonville, Florida area, just to the south of there. There you can see that circulation. Uh, it does look like it is maybe uh cycling a little bit this did have a, a well-defined debris signature just off to the south uh, but right now this is southeast of jacksonville and curling off to the northwest toward jacksonville proper right now we can take a look at the uh, debris coefficient to see and there it is this is a confirmed tornado big time debris ball heading off to the northwest toward jacksonville big problems uh here this is definitely a confirmed tornado debris ball now is heading toward Florida, so this is definitely a big time problem here, uh, everybody. This is a, a debris ball heading off to the northwest toward the Jacksonville, Florida area. Definitely take shelter immediately. Uh, this is it right there, uh, heading toward Jacksonville, Florida, halfway between Miramar Terrace and Pineland Gardens right now. Big time debris signature with this storm. And in fact, I'm uh, headed over to my other social media platforms right now to post this morning just because this, this is a life-threatening situation. And again, uh, you can see that debris ball there, halfway between Miramar Terrace, Pineland Gardens, moving off to the northwest, heading toward the Jacksonville area. Looks like a debris ball, obviously, that little enhanced area uh, there in reflectivity, the RFD coming around on the back side. And uh, this thing is uh, definitely a big rotation there, debris falling out of the sky. It does look like that tornado is cycling down a little bit, uh, so it's possible that the tornado is lifting, but all of that debris is still suspended in the atmosphere riding uh, that southerly inflow jet off to the north there but still you got to take shelter radar indicated uh, tornado here uh, flying debris dangerous storm uh, but it definitely uh, does have that debris signature uh, that's a debris uh, confer confirmation uh, looks like it was just uh, off to the southeast of the jacksonville florida area just southwest of pineland gardens is where that uh, tornado happened and it, it definitely was uh, doing an occlusion there you can see that circulation sliding off to the northwest there's that tornado touching down right there just to the southwest of pineland gardens ripping off to the northwest there it's possible it's still on the ground right at that uh, location just to the uh, northwest now of pineland gardens west of killarney shores uh, passing very close to saint nicholas it's likely that you're seeing debris falling out of the sky somewhere uh, near the St. Nicholas uh, area there. But again, this is a uh, definitely a, for a formerly confirmed tornado that has debris still suspended in the air and still has that strong rotation. So uh, very likely uh, that thing is still happening, still on the ground, unless this is uh, just debris suspended in the air falling out of the sky and that tornado has lifted. Looks like there's still a little uh, small debris pocket here and that debris fanning out toward the St. Nicholas area, probably falling out of the sky there, southeast of Jacksonville. Florida area, but uh, still a debris signature near the Spring Glen area. Really anywhere in Jacksonville, Florida, you definitely need to be in your safe place because this is such a life-threatening uh, situation here with that uh, debris ball happening uh, halfway between St. Nicholas and uh, Killarney Shore. So let's see if this uh, is just, a, it looks like that circulation is starting to weaken just a little bit. So it's probably... Uh, possibly still a small compact tornado there with uh, still causing debris. Most of that other debris was from the earlier uh, tornado and it was off to the south, just to the uh, southwest of Pineland Gardens. That's where that tornado initially touched down. And uh, there is another tornado warning up in Georgia as well, so we will head on over to that. But you can definitely see these supercell storms, a very uh, sickle shape right there, uh, shaped almost like the hodograph is shaped, but for different reasons, uh, indirectly related to that but you could definitely see the uh, concave cyclonic curvature even in that reflectivity pattern and it looks like we do have uh, some new radar data coming in here 
and it does look like that uh, circulation is starting to weaken. Uh, there is a new uh, tornado warning that has been issued. It says that it's observed here a tornado producing storm located near Arlington will be north at 30. Uh, probably a, uh, I'm sure that this thing is visible from Jacksonville earlier to the southeast. So that debris is still being lofted by the storm. That's the uh, old radar scan. There you can see that debris ball. Uh, definitely produced a tornado right about there, just to the southwest of Pineland Gardens. Likely significant uh, damage down here, possibly near the San Jose uh, area. Looks like that is where that signature first started, right near San Jose, Florida, San Jose Forest as well. Uh, probably significant damage down there. And then uh, halfway between Miramar Terrace, Pineland Gardens as well, and then the Spring Glen area, uh, possibly sustaining damage. Uh, looks like that uh, tornado could still be on the ground, at least as of that time, as of about three minutes ago. But on a velocity, it does look a lot weaker. There still is a couplet right over Spring Glen, uh, so it's very possible that that tornado is just roping out and uh, still is uh, causing damage out there. On reflectivity, it does look quite impressive still. Uh, still has this uh, very nice uh, shape here, uh, uh, that concavity, cyclonically curved. Uh, that tornado had happened right on the uh, southeastern quadrant there, getting easterly inflow into the storm. And the wind shear is so strong within this convective band that you really don't need that much in the way of uh, surface base instability. And that warning extends all the way north to the Georgia border now, including uh, St. Mary's because it's moving so rapidly to the north. Look at this supercell structure now to the northwest of Kingsland, Georgia. Uh, you can even see the RFD structure there, westerlies back behind that RFD gust front. The circulation would be located right there, halfway between Kingsland and Woodbine, Georgia. Now that also likely needs a tornado warning uh, headed toward Woodbine. Uh, so definitely uh, be ready to get in your safe place up there near Woodbine. Uh, the rotation is still very broad, but that can tighten up very quickly with these tropical cyclone type tornadoes. And uh, there was another tornado warning up here off to the northwest. Uh, into uh, further inland into Georgia, but that uh, warning has been allowed to expire. Let's go back to the uh, Jacksonville storm rotation as well here. And uh, looks like that rotation starting to weaken just a little bit. There's that couplet though. Relatively compact, smaller, weaker couplet. Let's see if there's any uh, debris signature located with that now. Still is a little debris signature being caused, so that thing is that circulation is still likely uh, producing some damage. <clears throat> the rest of the uh, debris is getting taken downstream uh, by the storm. But if you're in Floral Bluff or really anywhere in the tornado warning area, definitely get ready to be in your safe place as uh, this thing is moving off to the north. The debris signature is a little more subtle now, uh, but it's still. Uh, appears to be a uh, smaller tornado that is still trying to loft debris. Uh, that's where that couplet's located. This is relatively close to the Jacksonville radar here. Arlington, Floral Bluff, uh, those locations uh, definitely be in your safe place. Eagleston Heights uh, certainly can intensify and ramp up quickly as well. Let's look at the higher tilts here too and see if we can still see that tornado vortex up there. And uh, Looks like it's probably back in this area, doesn't it? Oh. Just moving into that warning. That's 52. That was eight minutes ago when that was over Spring Glen. Still see that rotation on the higher tilt, certainly. But now it's off to the north a little bit further. Six minutes later, uh, that couplet is moving off to the north. And it's definitely not as strong as it was a little bit earlier. We can loop this back. In fact, we'll go a couple frames even before that. Oh, there you can see it. So the tornado touched down just to the southwest of Pineland Gardens near the San Jose area. Likely some substantial damage down there as well, uh, just to the north of uh, Beauclerk. Looks like another circulation coming up from the south. But look at that uh, tornado producing storm. A couple that wrapped up big time right there near San Jose. Couplet's a lot weaker, but it still has a very subtle debris signature with it, relatively close to the radar. Uh, so it is possible that uh, this thing is still uh, producing tornadoes just to the east of downtown Jacksonville. The tornado warning continues. At 4.54, seven minutes ago, tornado producing storm near Arlington, Florida. Moving north at 30, radar confirmed tornado. 
So they obviously saw that same debris signature that we've been tracking. But boy, that's a scary situation uh, Situation for Jacksonville, Florida. Confirmed uh, damaging tornado uh, moving toward your location. Looks like it weakened a little bit. Uh, circulation on the latest scan has come down a little bit just to the east of the Brentwood, Florida area, but still moving off to the north at about 30 miles an hour. Ocean Way, shady rest areas, and all the way up to the Georgia border into St. Mary's now is included in that tornado warning. Yuli Heights as well, Yuli Heights, Florida here. So it's very possible that that circulation could ramp up once again uh, down there to the east of Jacksonville. Keeping a very close eye on this thing. About to cross the river there just to the northeast of Jacksonville. And another circulation trying to ramp up as well on the south side of the storm. Uh, just a big conglomeration of supercells, but some of that debris as well uh, being indicated within that higher reflectivity zone. Looks like this supercell is getting a little bit of uh, convective interference here with this little bean-shaped storm developing in its inflow area. All this is kind of embedded within rain, showing you that wind shear is a lot more important and a rotating mesocyclone can definitely drill through any low-level uh, stable air out there, even if you're, you're lacking just a little bit of cape. But I think these are tropical soundings, not a lot of evaporational cooling out here with these downdrafts, so definitely uh, the wind shear can be put to work and you can see that supercell structure flying eagle shape right there with that tornado uh, potential just to the northeast of jacksonville now and a little cell that's developed off to the east possibly is uh, going to temporarily uh, decrease the tornado threat uh, but very likely the storm's just going to absorb this thing and then it could go nuts uh, further north a little bit closer to the radar site of near ocean way or even st mary's near the georgia border here. So I'm going to keep watching this storm. Definitely the most dangerous by far. This one's ra r ramping up on approach to the Woodbine area and Plantation Point. Uh, definitely can see a nice RFD structure there. So I would be so you can start to see this thing gradually tighten up. It's a little bit decoupled right now from the inflow, but eventually this could drill down to the surface on approach to the Woodbine uh, area. So stay tuned to your, your uh, severe weather warnings in Woodbine. Areas off to the north, definitely you can see these little embedded mesocyclones within this convective band. Another one even further north, so a lot of wind shear out here uh, with these little storms. Uh, but right now that one just to the northeast of Jacksonville is the one with the most immediate threat. It does look like the tornado has lifted, but still uh, could touch down at any time with that rotation. So I'm going to keep an eye on this and keep going live. I was about to uh, ride my bike. Uh, but now with this uh, tornado threat ramping up, I'll probably keep uh, churning out these live updates. So thank you, everybody. Stay safe in the Jacksonville area, southeastern Georgia, central and eastern South Carolina, eastern North Carolina as well as that tornado threat ejects off to the northeast.